trying to give any kind of spiritual beat down. You're going to walk away thinking I'm a Calvinist after this sermon. And that's just, (laughs) but frankly, there is no time for, there's a time for us to heal and there is a time for us to grow. And let's not forget that this is an I am statement, not a you are statement. So fix your faces, all right? (laughs) Because we're going in. We can look at this I am statement and we can say, aw, good shepherd. It's so sweet. Look at all the lovely things. Look at the list of things that Jesus does for me and flip past the fact that Jesus is showing his holiness and that he is worthy to be followed. I have a big concern that, and let me just be, take a side note and disclaimer, this is not Victory Church. This is not our culture. But I have a big concern that most of our songs and sermon at the moment in culture play to a cultural phenomenon of self-absorption. What can God do for me? When every encounter, every interaction with God needs to lead to our response of not what can I get out of this, but rather lead me Jesus. Too often we ask, fix me, fix me, fix me, when our cry should be, lead me. He's a good shepherd after all. And in the act of being led, we are shaped and molded and refined into something better. And that process is healing and far better than a quick fix. See, a self-help Jesus is just a Band-Aid. But the good shepherd, when we fix our eyes on the good shepherd, the good shepherd Jesus works in resurrection power. And we see this. In the Old Testament, Moses, he asked to see God's glory. Remember that story where he asks and God says, yeah, sure, you get a glimpse. And he gets to see just, just a snippet of the backside of God as he passes by. But crazy enough, after he sees this, his face manifests the, excuse me, the glory of God. It shines so much that it makes people around feel so uncomfortable that they make him cover it up makes them so uncomfortable. And I think maybe we aren't asking for an encounter of more of Jesus because we're uncomfortable with what it will bring out of us. Because lead me, the request of lead me goes hand in hand with use me and that's a dangerous request. See, because if we're able to follow and hear his voice and revere his sacrifice and be concerned about the least, the last and the lost, then We have to know what it is to be obedient sheep, humble sheep 